If you don't have a Facebook page already, you're going to need to create one. And to create one, all you need to do is you need to go down to the bottom of Facebook when you're logged in and click create a page. Now a page is, uh, it's like a profile, but it's sort of to represent something other than an individual. Um, so it can be a business, uh, organization, a brand, uh, any, any, any of the categories that you can see here. So you're going to need to create one. Um, because uh, my flat, uh, Facebook doesn't actually allow you to have any tabs on your profile, so you have to create a separate page to have a tab. So you're probably going to want to create an artist band or public figure one. So you can then choose um, a subcategory from there. Um, I'm going to choose musician or band. Um, you can name the page anything you want. I'm going to name it producer page 101. So agree to the Facebook page terms and then get started. Okay, so you can upload um, a picture yourself. Uh, I'm just going to skip this step and you can have some information about uh, yourself. Uh, I'm going to skip this one too. Okay, so now here is your page that started. Uh, Facebook's going to come up with uh, a few little uh, pop-ups just to get you, get you going on your page. I'm going to skip all of them. Okay, cool. So this is your Facebook page. Uh, this is the new Facebook timeline, so things have changed quite a bit recently. So, uh, I mean, if you if you're not familiar with the Facebook timeline, then this may uh, seem a bit a bit confusing. Um, but just you know, just just to be assured that you know the, the MyFlash app definitely still works on the um, Facebook timeline. Now we've got the page set up. Uh, we're going to need to add the MyFlash app. So to do that, you go into the search at the top and you type in my flash door okay and you're gonna to need to um, click the one that says the my flash door app and it says app and leave not the my flash door test just the my flash door one so you click on that okay so um, it's gonna ask you if you want to actually go to the app so you click go to app okay now it's gonna ask permission to uh, manage your pages uh, this is important because if you wanna to wanna to add a tab to a page we're gonna to need to um, have access uh, to manage your page so that we can add the tab. Uh, to post on your behalf, that's not something that uh, is necessary at the moment, but it's there just uh, just uh, for in future. Uh, to access your data anytime is very important. So we click allow. Okay, now this takes you to the login page. So if you don't have a MyFlash Store account already, uh, you can set it up just by scrolling to the bottom and clicking click here to sign up for a free account now. Uh, if you do have an account, um, just enter your login details into this username and password box now and click submit. Okay, so accounts linked successfully. So this is now going to redirect you and um, that's going to be your player that has, uh, that has come up with your beats. Uh, this is some statistics. Um, and your comments and a list of your pages. Now this isn't actually what uh, your viewers are going to see. This is a canvas page just for you. So this is uh, lots of information just stored on one page uh, for your reference. Um, so you can see here that you've got um, your pages listed. So we've got the producer page 101 uh, that we've just created. So all you've got to do is click this add tab link <coughs> next to the page that you want to add the tab to. It's going to ask you if you want to add the My Flash tab to the Producer 101 page. So you click Add Tab. And the tab has been added. So we just close that dialog box. And all we need to do is click on the page that you just added the tab to. And you'll now see that there is a Buy Beats tab on your page. So if we click on that, this is what your users are going to see when they visit your page and they click on that Buy Beats. Uh, uh, tab. So this is all your comments, this is uh, some instructions for them and uh, this is your player. Uh, the way Facebook is, uh, you have to um, click on the player before it starts loading. Uh, that's just the way Facebook does it, so your users will see that and they'll click it. And then this is the player loaded. So um, that's about it really. It's really simple um, to add the Facebook app. Uh, it used to be a little bit more complicated but I've, uh, we've streamlined it and um, we hope that uh, you know, the Facebook app will bring you a lot of success.